He says here that she judged him faithful. In verse 12, Therefore sprang there even of one, and him as good as dead, talking about Abram, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. These all died in faith, not having received the promises. <clears throat> now remember, the, the word there is promises, plural. Not having, it didn't say not having received the promise, but not having received the promises. Why? Because, now notice at this point, the culmination of the promises had not yet come. But now Jesus has come. So now we're looking back at what Jesus did. They were all looking forward to the ful- forward. I have to do it that way for you, I guess. They were all looking forward to the fulfillment of the promise, which would make all of the promises yes and amen. amen. So now he has fulfilled every requirement so that now all of the promises for us are in him, yes, and in him, amen, or so be it. So we're not looking forward, we're looking back. You got that? And so that's why we can see, that's more, this is why we don't say this is going to happen. That's why we say this is done. And the more established you are in the fact that it's done, the faster you see it. Why? Because you're looking at things that can't be seen. And because of faith, now you cause the things that can't be seen to come together so that you can see them. So the things you can't see is you well. But if you look at what he did, now you can say, well, look at this, look at this, look at this. And what are you? you're building faith in the fact of what he did. So this is a done deal. And you're gathering all of these facts, spiritual truths. And when you gather these together, you come to one conclusion. This is done. Amen. And when you say this is done, now it's yours because now you believe the word, you agree with him, you say he is faithful, and when you believe it, guess what? You see it in your body. As I said before, a lot of people write me, text me, call me, different things. Well, they call me different things too anyway, but they call me, <laughs> they call me different ways. We'll put it that way. They, call, they, they get in touch with me different ways. And it's amazing because many times they think I have to respond. That's where I was going to a while ago whenever I was talking about that. And just because you write me and tell me your problem, that doesn't require a response on my part, not, not to you. Now, my response is I read the text, I read the email, I read the letter, whatever it is. I listen to the voicemail that you send me, and I listen to it. I hear the problem. Then... I choose to believe the word of God. I choose to call him faithful who has promised. And I do it on your behalf. And so I'm saying, God, you're faithful because you said by his stripes, we were healed. And whenever you're, when I'm reading your information, your prayer request, then you're the we that were healed. So I have to believe. See, it doesn't just happen. It's not magic. It doesn't just happen. I don't just say words. And, well, did you pray? Uh, Yes or no, whichever at that time it is. If I say no, people go, well, why not? Well, because it's not the praying that does it. It's the believing. See, I can believe without praying. See, when I read your text or your email, whatever it is, when I read it, and I say, yep, yep, mm-hmm, okay. Well, according to the word of God, this was done. Then the minute I believe, that hits you. And that's when you're healed. Amen. You understand? Yes. And so I don't have to pray. I have to believe. Because the believing is what makes it happen. Now, I can pray and, let me put it this way. I can believe and pray. And that's good. It'll work. I can pray and then believe. Well, what we do? It says, when you pray, believe that you have received. So I need to believe when I pray. Is that right? Yeah. And so therefore, I'm following Mark 11, 22, 23. This is not some weird thing. I'm, I'm not doing some different thing. I'm doing what the Bible says. Yeah. Now, but the thing is, whenever I can also, now listen to this, I can pray without believing and nothing will happen. But if I believe without praying, it'll still happen. 
Do you get it? So what's the most important part? Believing. Amen? Not the words, but the believing. Now, I don't always jump on that. As soon as it comes in, I don't just go, oh, here's a problem. All right, Father, in the name of Jesus. I don't do that. Why? Because I don't know that I'm believing at that moment. I have to, see, just like anything else, I have to prepare to believe for this. Because it's not just a blanket statement for me. This is for you. So I have to believe. Okay, this isn't just, well, can God heal everybody? Yep. But, see, if you say that, that doesn't mean everybody's going to get healed. <clears throat> see? But when you go down to, but can God heal this person? Now I'm believing for a person. I'm believing to connect God to that person through faith and whenever I do that, so there are times whenever I, I don't just jump onto a prayer right away. I'll read it. I'll actually meditate on it. I'll actually think about, okay, this, yep. And I'll go back and think, well, yeah, I've seen that healed here. I remember I saw it healed there. Yeah, I've seen it healed dozens of times. So, yeah, see, what am I doing? I'm gathering the facts. I'm gathering the truths, right? And then when I'm like, yep, yep, okay, then it's like, oh, yeah, this is done. And by the time I talk, it's already done. Does that make sense? Yeah. Why? Because this is walking in faith. Faith believes what God has done, okay? Not what he's going to do. I'm not asking God, God, please heal him. God, please touch him. God says, already done that. Already did that. Tell me something I can answer. Do you realize? Okay. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, all through the Bible... God is referred to as in the male gender. That means he doesn't just respond because you say something. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> You've got to give him something to respond to. Amen. And what does he respond to? Faith. God, I just want to thank you. He, this is the Bible tells us we are to abound in thanksgiving. Is that right? Well, what do you got? What do you think? What are you giving thanks for? For the fact that it's done. Not you. See, so you don't give thanks for it's going to be done. You give thanks when it's done. So when you consider it done, and when you consider what he has said he's done as done, you're going to live a life with abundance of thanksgiving. Amen. Amen.